What is going on everybody? HockeyFire13 here. Welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, Uncut Gems starring Adam Sandler directed by the Safdie Brothers. Now, I just want to get started first and foremost. As far as the Safdie Brothers go, um, I think that they're, they, those guys are really fucking good directors. Like, I watched Good Time with Robert Pattinson and I, just, I was blown away by that movie. Like, I, it came out of nowhere. Like, I was just like, I was just sitting around one day and then I was like, hmm, Good Time with Robert Pattinson. Uh, I don't like his past movies. I want to give this one a shot. And then ever since then, he's done The Lighthouse, and now he's Batman. So, fuck, man. I like Robert Pattinson now. <laughs> um, but as far as Good Time goes, I love that movie. I think it's a great heist movie. I think it's a very, you know, um, you know, it shows nightlife, and, you know, it's like just a movie about a guy getting into every situation that he's trying to get out of, and everything's just going wrong for him on this one specific night. But Uncut Gems, it stars Adam Sandler, he essentially plays a guy named Howard Ratner. And Howard Ratner is a guy that's like, he runs a jewelry store, and he's always looking for the next big score. He's looking, he's always looking for something to sell to get money, and he also has other people to pay off, you know, city loan sharks, and, you know, everything, you know, uh, you know how that goes in uh, New York City, downtown Manhattan. I think he lives in the premise of the movie. But um, essentially, when he gets this uh, gem that's from Ethiopia or some shit that they carved out, they sent it to him in a fish, and he cuts it out, and he sees this gem, and he ends up barring it to a very popular basketball player that he's friends with that comes into his jewelry jewel shop um, named uh, Kevin Garnet, which is actually a really, uh, actually a real basketball player in real life that actually is in the movie and he bars it to him and he like the whole movie is essentially about him trying to get the gem back because you know he goes through all these things like oh this person has it then when he goes to meet that person they don't have it and he was like okay i pass it on to this person i can meet you there and then they end up not having it again and it's kind of just this never-ending slew of him trying to get this gem back and even when he does get the gem back everything is still turning out wrong for him as far as uncut gems goes great movie Honestly, the best performance Adam Sandler has probably ever given next to Punch Drunk Love or some shit. Like, the, uh, compared to his serious roles, I've come to the conclusion that Adam Sandler is one of those actors to where he's done a lot of bad movies, but if you give him the right script and the right role, he can fucking nail it on, out of the park. This is, like I said, like, I saw one review that said Adam Sandler is God level in this movie. I probably would say the same thing. Adam Sandler is fucking marvelous in this movie. And is this one of the, I saw a lot of reviews say that this is one of the best movies of the year. Would I say this is one of the best top 20 movies of the year? Yeah, but is it in my top 10? Probably not. It's probably going to be, like, one of my honorable mentions for the top 10 of the year. But, like I said, but the directing. I'd say that. I like the I like the way um, Good Time is directed a lot more than Uncut Gems, but as far as Uncut Gems go, I really think that they made a really good improvement on their directing style because Good Time was a movie that was directed to where the camera was up in your face like this 24/7. You know, it's just like it was very you know you got to see raw emotions on all the characters. And um, hold on a second, I need to see if I need to respond to a text. Okay, sorry. Um, you know, it was very up in your face, and you know, you got to see the raw emotions on every little, uh, ever on every character. But uncut gems, they give you wide shots. You know, it's like it's it's directed like an actual you know normal movie that is. And I really think that that like because the Zafty brothers, they direct movies like you're another person in the room watching all this happen, and that's what I love about the Safdie brothers. And, um, yeah, like I said, I think this movie is a really good, like I said, I like the directing more for Good Time, but the directing more for this film, I think, was very improved for them. And, um, yeah, I definitely would like to see another movie, because Adam Sandler has been talking about I would love to work with the Safety Brothers again, and I honestly think that Adam Sandler does need to do a, a, a movie with the Safety Brothers again. But, um, the ending to Uncut Gems, I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you guys have seen the movie, you know, I guess you can, you know, connect my thoughts with yours. I have a hard time comprehending the ending because just the whole movie plays out from an ending that is unexpected. And it's just like, wow, okay. And it makes you think, hmm, went through all this trouble, all this trouble. And this is our, this is our result. And yeah. So I just have a hard time comprehending the ending, but as a movie overall, great movie. I'd highly recommend going to check it out if, if it's in a theater near you. Um, but um, yeah, Uncut Gems, if I probably had to give it a grade, I'd probably give it a solid A. It's definitely, like I said, Adam Chandler just shines right through. Uh, beautifully directed movie, beautifully acted, and you know, 
good script. Highly recommend checking it out. The only flaw I have, and it's not even really a flaw, I just have a hard time taking in the ending and comprehending it and understanding like, oh, okay, unexpected. But um, yeah, highly recommend checking it out. If you guys have seen it, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And um, yeah, I'll be looking forward to some more movie reviews. Let me know if you guys, if I should review Marriage Story. Like I said in my last video, I'm going to try to go see Rise of Skywalker, and I'm petrified of what's going to happen. So yeah, like I said, if you, if you guys did the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.